I wanted to add something to our uh, momentum and impulse unit. And that's this. Let's say I had a graph of force and newtons versus time and seconds. And I had a constant force of 20 for that five seconds. And I asked for the impulse. I would just say J is F times T. The force is 20 newtons. And the time is 5 seconds. So that's going to give me 100 newton seconds. And that would be correct. But I want you to know something, too. That would be the area below this line. Okay, if I do base of 5 times the height of 20, I get 100 newton seconds as well. So the impulse equals the area below an FT line. And um, that's useful if we have a changing force. The force isn't constant. Um, in AP Physics C, you'd be using calculus to deal with that. But in here, okay, we can just find the area below the line. So let's say I have a changing force. So we'll use the same values. In 20 of my force, uh, the time in seconds over here, we'll have it end at 5. But now, the force is going to steadily increase to 20 at 5. And I want to know the impulse. It's not just going to be 20 times 5, because the force wasn't 20 the whole time. It was just 20 at the end. What I need to do is find the area. Then in this case, it's a triangle, and I'm finding the area for it. So the impulse is um, base times height divided by 2 for this one. So the base of this is 5 seconds. Height is 20 newtons. And that's going to give me 50 newton seconds for the impulse. So if you have a changing force, one way to deal with it is to graph it and then find the area below the line, and that's going to give you the impulse.